I don't know, I'm going by memory, so let's give it a shot. Yep. Yeshayahu 65, 11. Watch this. He's talking to backslidden Israel. And today we have many in backslidden Israel who are in many different religions. The lost sheep of the house of Israel, the ten tribes of non-Jewish Israel. Look at verse 11. But you are those who forsake Yahweh and forget my government, my Kadosh mountain, and the constitution of my Kadosh mountain, in order that you may prepare a table, a shulchan, for God, G-O-D, God. The Hebrew is Gimel Dalet, God, Dios, and furnish a drink offering. That's the, the, the body and the wine, the blood. To Mani. Now, who are these clowns? Gold and Mani. Who are these guys? Gold, or the Lord's table, was the name of a pagan deity of strength, human strength, and troop, human troop strength, like an army. Israelites would forsake Yahweh to worship what they thought was carnal, real carnal power. The Hebrew spelling Gimel Dalit, with a Masoretic vowel pointing, make it sound like God, not Gad, in Hebrew. This is close enough of a condemnation of using God in place of Yahweh to be too close for comfort. And as such, it is best and safer to stay away from worshiping a generic God, God, especially in light of this clarion call that demands that Israel, as Israel, we call on Yahweh in His true name. And now, who is the other God or Elohim that Yahweh brings up? Mani. Mani. What is the Hebrew word money? It means luck, chance, or good fortune. Luck, chance, or good fortune. When was the last time somebody wished you good luck? Every day. That means they're, wish they're actually wishing you the blessings of a pagan deity. Oh. Good luck. Instead of Yahweh te bendis, bendiga, right? Or, 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 or hmm? Yahweh te bendiga. Yahweh te bendiga, or Yahweh bless you. Oh, no, 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 no. God bless you. Or, or uh, good luck. They are they're asking a pagan deity named luck to bring you goodness and to bring you th good things in your life. Wow. And Yahweh says, let's get this straight, those of you who are ready to celebrate Passover. Let's get this straight. You're either going to come to the Lord's table or you're going to come to my mountain. Which one is it? Wow. Make your choice now. Make your selection now. Because what's been given to us as the Lord's table, which brings us good luck, especially when we do it every Sunday by ritualistic religious observance, brings us good luck, good fortune. That's the God many. And in order to experience good luck, we've got to show up at whose table? God's table. Sorry, no table of God for Yahweh's children and Nazarene Israelites. Can I hear a good amen? Amen. I mean a good amen. 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 So Yahweh says, but look, in order to show up at the Lord's table every Sunday in church, or once a month, the front. Can we can we talk? Can we be honest? When I was in the church and I was Pastor Marshall, you don't have to write internet articles. Oh my gosh! You know we discovered that he's really Pastor Marshall. Well, let me help you out. There's a thing right here on my wall. Look, right there. I'm not hiding anything. When I was in the church as Pastor Marshall, I thought I was really spiritual. We didn't have the Lord's Supper every week. We had it the first Sunday of every month. Yep. 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 La Santa Cena. You know why we only had it, you know why we only had it the first Sunday of every month? We didn't have enough grape juice and we didn't have enough cups to have it every week. Otherwise we would have had it every week. Piece of wonder bread. So before you run into Pesach in three weeks and you rush into Pesach, you've got to decide now, am I an Israelite who wants to live, receive, dwell, and, and, and be blessed and nurtured and admonished on the mountain of Yahweh? Amen. Or do I want to continue to visit God's, the Lord's table and take the Lord's Supper? And if you believe that there is such a thing as the Lord's Supper and that you go to God's table to worship, human, you're worshiping a, a human strength deity that our ancient fathers falsely trusted in along with 
the lump associated that would come from that God of strength, that that God of strength, Wilbur, would bring those who come to God's table good luck. Sorry, we don't believe in luck, we believe in Yahweh. Oh, that's right. Amen. Amen. So, controversy and heresy number one, verse 19. Prevalent throughout the Corinthian congregation, the Kehillah, had set in many errors into the Corinthian Kehillah. Many errors had set in. Specifically, one of the errors was the Lord's table. And they were doing the Lord's table and heresies and controversies so that those who are sent by Yahweh can be separated from those who just went and were, were went by the strength of God or by the good luck of many, the God of good luck. Am I preaching too hard for you? You want me to drink Coke instead of water? So, so when we have these divisions, Yeshua said, listen, if you love me and serve me, a man's enemies will be those of his own house. Two against three, three against two, a wife against her husband, the children against the father, the father against the children. For I have not come to bring peace on earth. Who told you that nonsense? I have come to bring a sword. So that those who teach truth and that those who teach heresy can be made manifest and approved or disapproved not by courts, not by secular reasoning, not by secular government, not by secular institutions, but by the words of Yahweh. Amen. And I'm going to be frank with you. You have a problem with some of the things we teach in this ministry? Rosh Chodesh, Tzitzit, Moadim, Shabbat, patriarchal marriage. No problem. Yahweh sent me into your life, sister. You listen to me. Yahweh sent me into your life to bring controversy and heresy so that those who are approved by the word of Yahweh and those who are approved by men can be differentiated. Are there plenty of people who teach against Shabbat, Moadim, and all the lifestyle that we have as Nazarene Israelites? Oh, yeah. You could find them a dime a dozen. Mm -hmm. And it's up to you to decide who you... You know, people... It's not the minister or the rabbi or the apostle that, or the prophet that has authority over you. You have authority over them. Exactly. You can either allow them or disallow them to fill your ears with the word of Yahweh Amen. and what you hear. You are responsible for what Amen. you hear Amen. and who you listen to. Amen. Um, and just because someone has a license to run an aftercare program from the state of Florida does not give them the anointing that you need to teach you the word of Yahweh. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, you know, Rabbi, I run to kindergarten. And every day in the kindergarten, after we have milk and cookies, I pray with the children. Yeah, we have a good time. That doesn't mean that that person has been called and sent by Yahweh to bring you kingdom truth. Amen. Amen. So Yahweh brings controversy and heresy to see what side those take, the people take, the teachers take, either in favor or opposed to the word of Yahweh, or what the, what the, how the people respond. Do they respond to the heresy and the controversy when men are fueled by their own ideas and when men are fueled by their own doctrines? Or do men respond to thus saith Yahweh? Ko amar Yahweh. What do we respond to? Thus saith Yahweh. And if, a, and if the, the word of Yahweh is not constantly challenging you, you are not be hearing the word of Yahweh. The word of Yahweh challenged Yeshua. Yeshua didn't find the word of Yahweh easy. But he obeyed. He said, Father, if the word of Yahweh can pass from me, let this cup pass from me. He besought the Father not once, not twice, but thrice. In the garden of Shemen, in the Garden of Gethsemane. It's not easy to, to receive and obey the word and hear the, the true words of Yahweh. Who wants to hear the things of Yahweh? The world wants to have gay marriage. The world wants to have homosexual marriage. They don't want to hear what Yahweh has Amen. to say on the subject. Amen. They can care less. Amen. And they'll find a pastor, and they'll find a pastorette, and they'll find a leader who will tickle their ear and Amen. tell them what they're doing is okay. Amen. Sure. But that same idiot 
will not teach the lifestyle that Yahweh allows in Scripture. Amen. Amen.